So, Anna, this is very sad. You cheated on me. Yeah. You were yeah. playing with another coach while I was gone in Germany. I thought we would be playing and he started like teaching me. He started teaching you forehand. And what did he say again? He said, I'm, oh, I started learning tennis yeah. as an adult, so I shouldn't be practicing loop because my brain doesn't get enough speed to process this information. Okay. He said, just be here and uh -huh. just... Uh, Simplicity. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, Look. So. What? He's not 100% wrong. Uh, you could hit a forehand like you were doing in a very early on when we first started. Remember? No, but he didn't like that uh, thing when I was like just losing it here. He said, just that. Like a like a no loop basically. Not, not doing any. Take like, the racket. Take you. the racket straight back. In other words, uh -huh. without a loop. Right. It's not necessarily wrong to hit a forehand like that. People back in the day used to play like that. That's a classic tennis. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can play like that. But it is absolutely no comparison to what's called a modern forehand. Right. When it comes to all aspects of the forehand, whether you're talking about topspin, mm -hmm. control, mm -hmm. and most importantly, power. It has absolutely no comparison whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot more control with the modern forehand. You get a lot more power. It also feels a lot better, that forehand. It's more rhythmic. It's more continuous. So it's the question that every recreational player should ask themselves. Uh, you want to optimize your game. This is a big question. Do you want to play the, to the best of your abilities? Oh, yeah. You do, right? I, I do. I and think everybody does. I started feeling the taste of this beautiful movement. Yeah, no, you're doing good. If you take a look at your match, do you see your match when you played, Christine? Yeah. You were doing a beautiful job on the forehand. Mm -hmm. And you know what it was? Like the ball was coming at you a little bit slower, so you had more time. And it was be working beautifully. So it's coming along. We just have but to be with patient. The ball, machine. With the ball machine. Ball machine was surprising you. And it, was it was surprising, but my loop there was, was, was even fun. better. Even better. Yeah. So this is the question. If you want to optimize your game and play to the best of your abilities, you got to do what's called a modern forehand. So no, you shouldn't go like this and take the racket straight back. No, don't do that.